Hello friends, this is HL7StartedKit.com. Uh, I'm shooting this video today because I'm learning uh, FIRE, Fast Healthcare Interoperability um, Resources, the new technology, you know. Um, do you know I wrote the HL7 Starter Kit version 2 book, Connecting to Mirth, and I am an HL7 engineer uh, from 9 to 5 every single day, and my newest project is to actually learn FIRE. So. I wanted to record my findings uh, with you and document it uh, for you and um, just for future reference, uh, just even for me. So, so this is an intro to fire uh, uh, with mirth and uh, a fire server that I found online. So all of these resources are free. I'm all about free. I love free and open source. So I wanted to just, just let's just start now. So. What I'm going to do is a quick introduction on how to um, connect to a fire server and get a response back. So my Mirth channel calls a get request from a free online happy test server to retrieve patient information ID 843791 and ask for the patient data to be returned back to me in, in my Mirth via JSON format. So you can see this little picture here, try to uh, convey that. And so we are here. This is Mirth. And we're, we'll be using Mirth version 3.3.1. You can, I'll put the download link uh, at the bottom of this video. So we're here in Mirth on your computer, your home computer, or wherever you are or work. And we are setting up our channel to do an HTTP GET um, sender. So that'll be our connector. And then we're connecting to this fire server online for free and we are saying hey here's my patient id now give me all the patient information uh via json as a fire profile uh response uh, i'm sorry not response as a fire resource in json format and that's what's going to happen here so i'll put the link to the fire server also all i will also put that at the bottom of the video but here's the server it this is a free server we're connecting to with Mirth, and it says right here, implementation of the fire spec using everything open source, and we're able to connect to it. And it's hosted by the University of Health Network, so thank you, University of Health Network, UHN. Um, that so I was just I was able to do this. I didn't stumble upon this. I, this was not my magic recipe. I found a channel online in the Mirth forum community, and uh, I ran it and. It worked and I wanted to document this and that's what we're doing. So, so what we're going to do is um, go ahead and, and run this. So you first you want to do is, first thing we want to do is I want to show you that this server actually works and it's, and it's real. And, and if you take, if you take this URL right here, right, that's the server and I am asking for patient information, you can see it, and here's my ID. If I actually take that URL, put it into my web browser, as is, even, there we go, from the web browser, um, you can gain information. So I wanted to show you that so you can see that it does work, and we'll essentially be doing the same thing, an HTTP call in Mirth to retrieve this back. So you can see that demonstration number one is you can do it in the browser, demonstration number two, is we're going to do it with Mirth. So let's go ahead and start that. All right, so that was step one. I wanted to show you that. Pretty cool. I thought so. Um, if you want to change it, actually, let's do a quick, you can see that's your JSON. The server will also return XML. If you change your URL to XML, there we go. Here's our XML. Let's change it back to JSON. I think the default is JSON. Voila, you get back to JSON. Now, if you don't even send don't pass anything. Yep, default is JSON, so just so you know. All right, so that was step one. Uh, step two, import the channel I created, um, which will do all the magic for you. Import that into your Mirth 331. So let's go take a look. T is Mirth 331. So import the channel, grab the channel and import it. Um, I just did that. And click Save. Go back to channel. Now, when you, after you do that, you can import it, and let's just filter these tags by just HSK for HL7 Starter Kit. That way we only see the channel that we imported. Awesome. All right, good. So 
We imported the channel, we saved it. Now we can deploy it. Fabulous. Let's go jump inside here. Double click the very top. And let's um let's activate it. Um again, there was nothing in the source connector, so it doesn't really matter what you put in here. You can put in this, anything you want. Put in nothing, it doesn't matter. It, it should just process. Now let's take a look at the source. You can see we sent this, but it doesn't matter. We were encoded, nothing was encoded. Look at some mappings. Awesome. The response from the source was sent. So it was sent over to destination. Let's take a look at that now. Sent this over, no transformation, no encoding. Boom. Here's what you want to see and analyze. Fantastic. So in our HTTP sender, we had a get command with this URL. Here's our ID. Didn't have any parameters, there were no headers. And then let's see what this server sent back. Hopefully it was just information about this particular patient ID in a JSON format. Click on response, and there we go. Awesome. So the way that Fire handles it, if it's if there's bundle meaning more than one, then it will say resource bundle. So that's okay. You can ignore that. You want to come down to the entry area. And that's where it starts to list the re actual results. And you can see that the resource type is a patient, as we said, in the URL. Yep, send us a patient. And then here's our ID, 847. Fantastic. So it's patient, 4379, And that's it. All this here's all the information about that particular patient. Let's go back again. Here is the magic. So that's it. We did it. So that's how you connect Mirth to an, a fire server. Ask for a send a get response, a get request, get via HTTP request, get an HTTP response. Um, you can go ahead and try it yourself. I'll put all the links at the bottom of this video. Fantastic. And that's how it works. If you want to, that, that there'll be a link to this actual channel so you don't have to do anything but import it and run it. Um, again, it's version 331. You'll have to have 331. That's the only prerequisite for this demonstration. So. It. that's fire go ahead play with it at least do this so you get an idea of what fire is like and http is like um and that's it thank you for watching have fun have a good day